be quite a show this weekend. You could catch a glimpse of the Perseids meteor shower. It's supposed to peak. Davis Nolan is in studio with more information. Really one of the best shooting star displays of the entire year, Davis. This is something to see. It really is. The Perseids come every August as the Earth passes through the eau oh, debris tail, shall we say, from the Swift Tuttle Comet. And as it goes through, it gives one of the best shows of the year. Now, it actually peaks tomorrow night at about 11 o'clock. And the question is, are we going to get a chance to see it? And Danielle and I have been looking at the weather, and we think our storm chances are going to be during the morning to midday to early afternoon, and they move out. So tomorrow night, we may get a break from the cloud cover. We hope so. The good news is the moon is going to be a waning crescent moon, just a little sliver there, so we won't have a lot of light pollution from the moon. Now, take a look at some of the pictures from previous a Perseid meteor showers. First of all, a time lapse that's going to show you just a few meteors that are going by. And then if you're lucky, you might get to see a fireball, which is a much bigger one when we finally get maybe some bigger particles. Most of these particles that make these meteors are the size of a grain of sand. And but you get another one that might be a little bit bigger than that. And it could make you a nice big fireball. But so if you get a chance if you see our skies clearing out by tomorrow night, we think they will be get out and take a chance to take a look at those Perseid meteors. You could see about one a minute. Back to you, Mark.